All right, this is an impromptu episode of Viva Juego here. Salty uh, was interested in sort of my ideas for the. Oh, I'm here with Salty, by the way. In case you didn't I'm know. not here. She's here. She's talking to herself. I don't know. What the fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Salty asked real. if I could explain. We were having a conversation earlier. He said if I could explain something to him, and I said okay. Just let me film it so that our non-existent viewers can also get in on it. And then he made a joke. Uh. Which I won't say. It was really dirty. It, was, <laughs> it was. involved a Danish. No, oh no no no. Uh, okay, so here we go. Salty, can you see my screen? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully my computer won't like on us. So we'll have the oh shit. That's like <laughs> the worst line ever. We'll have uh sort of the play area here. Oh my god, I can't draw lines today. Let's we'll pretend this is, a, this is a screen. And there'll be the foreground here, sort of. Very similar to Wild Guns, like we've been playing. And you'll have your characters here. Can't we call them heroes? I'm pretty sure they're the good guys. Yes, heroines. Oh yes, you want them all to be girls, for whatever reason. I do want them all to be girls. Girl power. Everyone loves girl with guns. They do. Anyway, so. Uh, you'll have your heroines here. Three, uh, four of them total. Well, max, maximum anyway. So they're standing here. I'll just draw two for now. Um, and then you'll have sort of your evil entity here. Look at that well-drawn evil entity. <laughs> He's very threatening. Yes. Arr. <laughs> Arr. Look, everybody, Arr. I'm an artist. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... Bearing in mind, I still couldn't produce anything like this. Yes, so... Of course not. And then there'll be sort of platforms here around the area. It's not going to be like extreme platforming, but in such a way like perhaps like a floating pedestal here or something like that. Something like this, just to make the terrain slightly more varied than in Wild Guns. Can you double jump? Yeah, I'd probably like awesome. to get a double jump in there. So, do you see that, though? Oh, I get you. So you want to have... Uh, well, it's not really something you can mess around with. It's just a different... It's a more, uh, more area for you to stand, really. Yes. A little bit more. And the big thing that Wild Guns does so well is the fact that moving and shooting are mutually exclusive. So every time you move and dodge, you're not returning fire. That's a big thing. Yeah. But in your game, you can do that. So how are we going to balance that? Um, well, you, when you jump, you can't shoot. I don't so, when you screen jump... real estate where you're not on the ground is now a pr at a premium. Why would I want to jump on those platforms? I can't shoot. Oh, the, there'll be reasons for you to move. Like, for example, there'll be something perhaps that, like, covers an entire area of the screen. And you can kind of call it, so you have to, like, move to another part of... Does that make sense? Um... So you can jump on these platforms to avoid attacks. Yeah, certain things like that. It's just going to be... I really wish you had played Big Bang Mini, because you kind of know what I'm talking about. But it's... I'm made of money? No, no, you're not. I understand. I'm just trying to explain. Like, in Wild Guns, I'd say that shooting was sort of the primary focus, and then dodging the, the other's bullets was like sort of another thing, but it wasn't as important as shooting the and maybe that's why you die so much <laughs> oh man i gotta pay more attention to myself ah pay attention to salty got myself shot what uh, do you mean uh, you died so much because you never paid attention to where where you were standing i died so much because i was busy saving your pay attention salty you get i gotta this... pay more attention to this goddamn game uh gotta watch myself when, it, when i'm shooting across the screen I died so much because I was busy saving your. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> you saved me! No, 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 no. No, there were several times where I saved your butt by shooting a, a bullet out of the air. I watched you take that bullet. I could have taken it, but I didn't. No, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna entertain these ideas, these preposterous suggestions. We have chemistry, you and I. The point is. Acids and bases. Which one of us oh, is the acid? Huh? I don't know. People have told me I'm very caustic. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. It's a joke for all you chemistry folks. 
folks out there. There aren't any. And by the way, I'm not a chemist. I'm a geologist. I know. So when I get my chemistry like wrong, especially more organic chemistry, you don't get to call me on it because I don't care about organic chemistry. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Now I forgot I was saying. There's gonna be more. Yeah, sorry. There's gonna be more focus on. There would be equal focus on what you shoot and what's shooting at you. Does that make sense? So you're gonna have dodging to and shooting are now equal as opposed to shooting being the preference. Yes, yes, and that's what what it was in Wild Guns. So you're gonna have to pay a lot more attention to what's happening to your character than than in Wild Guns. Does that make sense? So yes. you'll be you'll be moving around a lot more. Where in Wild Guns there are times where you could just stand completely still for the most part and just shoot things down, and then occasionally you duck to the side if something came down here. But in this one, it requires a lot more moving around. Since I found out you can throw dynamite, I'm just like I don't even need to dodge dynamite anymore. Yeah, yeah. You just pick it up and throw. And it makes me nervous because you ever picked up a hand grenade before? <laughs> That is an experience right there. Have you picked up a hand grenade before? Not a live one. What do you think I'm trying to get my arm blown off? <laughs> okay, so so do, does that make sort of sense, sort of the idea that I'm trying to put out here? And then in the it's a bottom, different flow. I think it could work very well. Yeah, in the bottom here, you've got your stats, sort of. This is very similar to an earlier uh, for, for our viewers here. I we wanted to put out a game called Venture. And then I discovered soon after that the game that we had designed was almost identical, like, in, like just pathetically, incredibly, despicably identical to another game that had already been released, whose name we will not reveal, because I frankly am just too embarrassed. You actually do not want me to reveal it, because I might. Don't. Don't you dare. Hey, I'm not revealing it. You better not. But that's only because I don't like the doghouse and I don't want to sleep in it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it was she just a lot me. like this. But the UI, we can take the UI from that design over to this. So there's going to be, like, a power-up bar at the bottom and sort of a health bar at the top. Do we like the whole shooting down bullets to get power-up thing? Sure. Why not? I like the hell out of it. It's one of those, hey, I'm a bit more skilled, therefore the game's a bit different for me. Yeah. Shooting down bullets to get a power up. That's fine. Yeah, I'd like that. Though I would appreciate it if you allowed me to code in the option to not immediately use the power up, but rather wait till it's an ideal time, then you can activate it. Um. <laughs> Getting the V gun right before you take down a boss just ruins your day. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. But then you'd have the problem of people just saving up their power up and then just kind of spamming it a little bit. In order to counteract that, we'd sort of have to forcibly make the bosses harder, or at least. Or give the player 10 seconds to activate the power up at their discretion. That could be good. So the 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 bar starts counting down or something. You got to make it obvious. I don't know how you do that. It's up to you. Yeah, I guess so. Because like, oh, you got a power up. A sound plays. You gotta activate this pretty soon, but not necessarily right now. Maybe you can try to finish out the boss and then use it at the start of the next level. Yeah, yeah, we we could we could work on that. I don't know. I think there should just be like a single rule instead of just having like because then people might put it off and then not pay attention and then lose their power up and that would just be cause for much table flipping. It's 2013. So, so going back to the the movement oriented kind of a thing, uh, I really would love to have a level where you're not staying in one spot. Does that make sense? So the screen doesn't stay static. The screen moves sort of. So you kind of have to move with the screen. I think that would be awesome. So it's like a first scrolling level from those Mario games, except for you're shooting things in the background. Yes. Yes. And this one's going to be a lot easier because in Wild Guns, your your movement controls and your uh, not much they could do about that on a Super Nintendo. It's controller. true, it's true. But I tried to mention that in the video and I got caught up shooting everything. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The movement controls and the aiming controls are the same buttons, but with this one, you you've got kind of two different things going on, so it's a lot easier to split those up. <clears throat> you know, they might have actually been able to get away with it. There was a game. Uh, there was a game I played for the Super Nintendo when I was just a little babby. I have no idea what it's called, but in that game, you aimed 
Uh, you aimed with the uh, AXBY thing. You actually shot using that. So I think like, oh fuck, is it the X is the top button? And so if you press X, you shoot up. And if you, A is like the right button, so if you press A, you shoot right. And you move with the D-pad. So it would have been might... possible, but then you lose most of your other buttons. Yeah, it just wouldn't have been. It... In that game, they relied on R and L in order to get every almost everything else done. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I like this wild gun setup. I mean, for the Super Nintendo, it was the absolute best that it could be. With the exception of the revival sort of rules. That when you die... Oh, uh, yeah. You... Well, that was that's just an oversight. They're like, ah, the game is fast-paced enough that people... They were probably right. Yeah, so. it wasn't too bad. Yeah. We're definitely going to have revivals in our game, but they're not going to be easy to come by. For sure. Is this game co-op focused, or is it solely single-player focused, or what? Uh, it's the same as Wild Guns. You can play it both or with. I think we'd probably put in something to make it a little bit harder with co-op. So, well, or thanks. or we could we could leave it hard as single-player sort of, and then with co-op. Or we could have, um, what is it? You could choose the difficulty. Oh yeah, that's a good way to do it. So you're like, ah, eh, we recommend you play it on hard if you have four players. But if, if, if your three players suck, maybe you should play it on easy. Yeah, so that would be nice. Because you guys just suck. Because I'm a huge proponent of local co-op. So, how many minutes that have we been going in? I don't know, you tend to rant a lot. I, I'm just trying to get my ideas out. The thing about this <laughs> is, okay, if... Mm, no, we'll just keep talking.